I love you. Uh, thank you. Please. Um, <laughs> thankfully, she's not saying no. That one of my favorite things that Bella's been doing is probably saying I love you. It's the sweetest thing. Uh, that's her first sentence. I'll break out singing. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Around slide down slides. Uh, color is the latest thing she's mm -hmm. been doing a lot of um, outside with chalk and it's definitely been harder for us to like to travel and I think for like having a child is to keep their hands out of their mouth they just touch everything I think the thing we're looking forward to the most this year is just making more family memories together mm -hmm. From without a crystal ball welcome back to my channel it's tuesday april 13th i'm so glad to have you here we're gonna do a few updates today we're gonna start with the duggars and then we're gonna move on to i think maybe some kardashian stuff we also have a sister wives update and if we have time we'll gra grab on over to what's going on with amber portwood because whoa is it a doozy now with the Duggars, we have not talked about Josiah and Lauren in a minute. And so I figured what a great place to start because we recently saw an updated photo of them and it was really nice to see them. We haven't seen anything from them since November. Can you believe that? Five full months of not a single post on their social media. And it's the longest hiatus that I can actually find on their social media where they have com not posted anything. A lot of people were worried about Lauren potentially dealing with stuff related to maybe not feeling very good, maybe feeling sort of anxious or concerned that something was going on with the couple. Why haven't they posted? Other people have been wondering, are they going to leave the show? Is there going to be an update from them? Are we going to see them on Counting On? There's been a lot of questions because they have not posted anything since Bella's first birthday, which is on November 8th. And on that last post in November, this is what they wrote. Happy first birthday, Bella. Can't believe we have a little one-year-old. You are such a joy and a gift to your daddy and I. You have one of the most contagious smiles and sweetest and silliest and cutest personalities. I am so blessed to be your mama. Love you, baby girl. And then the post before that, they posted in uh, September. They also posted in August, one in July and one in June. Now, this is not a couple that has a very big footprint on social media. They don't post a lot. And because of that, I think when they are absent for a period of time, people don't notice it as much. But when it's five months in a row and there's been nothing from them, people start to worry that they did show up in a video uh, Carlin Bates put up on her Instagram, on her YouTube channel. So she and Josiah and Lauren actually helped put together Layla's birthday party. And in that they were doing the decorations and helping them just make everything look gorgeous. So it's not that she's not around and she's certainly not missing but there's questions on like why have they abandoned their social media well recently a photo was released by the duggars and there's been some stuff going on with weddings so multiple duggars got married josiah uh, jedediah and justin so recently a photo was the the duggars have been releasing some new photos first right after they got married justin and claire didn't release a lot of photos of the wedding there was some speculation that this, this was not filmed for the show and it wasn't the the couple recently did an update on uh the tlc me blog same with josiah and lauren in fact josiah and lauren did a tlc me, me blog update and they let everyone know that hey bella's okay she's speaking she's doing really well she's walking her favorite sentences I love you and she's just an overall sweet little girl and Lauren says that she keeps her very busy and she's actually a lot like Josiah and if you know anything about Josiah Josiah's a wild guy he loves excitement and he's sort of boisterous and he will do just about anything and he loves a good adventure he's also quite the prankster and so imagine having uh, Lauren who is described by people that know her has very kind of laid back and quiet and more reserved uh, dealing with not only one in her husband but a second child a second in her child and having to manage all of that when you're kind of a reserved quiet introvert i'm sure it's overwhelming fun but it also can probably be quite different for her people had started realizing that okay everything's fine with the baby and you know we 
get an update from Claire and Justin that their wedding is probably not going to be filmed because one, they did a, they said, hey, we're married and everything's cool now. And shortly after that, Claire uh, released a photo of all of the sisters from her wedding. And in the photo, you saw photos, there was like Katie Nikats, Nikatsu, which could be why we didn't see any photos because Katie was at the wedding and they didn't want to let the cat out of the bag because apparently Jed and Katie wanted to have a quiet courtship. So with all of that said, in the photo, on the very end of the photo, you could see Lauren. And in Lauren, she was wearing a really super cute summery dress with some cute little shoes on. Um, nothing seemed completely out of the norm. She looked adorable, looked happy. And as all I can say about Lauren is that they seem to be a pretty happy couple and the two of them, I don't know what's going on with them. There's always been rumors that you know, they're not happy or they are happy, but either way, I think the two, Josiah and Lauren are happy. I think Lauren might at times be overwhelmed with Josiah, but it wasn't that that actually sparked some questions. It was actually a photo and then a video posted by the photographer for Jed's wedding that got people starting to ask some questions. So in the photo with Claire a month before, she looked petite, she looked totally normal, she looked everything was fine, and then cut to about a month and a half later at Jed and Katie's wedding and she looks like she might have a little pregnancy bump. Now, knowing that Lauren has had a miscarriage in the past, there could be some sensitivity if she is pregnant that she might not want to um, announce that she's pregnant. Interesting because when I posted a photo and I honestly didn't want to say anything, I was going to just leave it alone, but I posted the photo on my Instagram and a lot of the comments were, wow, Lauren looks pregnant. One person said, is Lauren pregnant? Another person said, Lauren looks pregnant from this angle. It looks like Lauren is holding her stomach as if she's pregnant. So there was a lot of questions about it. And then suddenly, you know, you have all these little clickbait stories popping up and then somebody is showing their ultrasound and saying Lauren is pregnant, which the photo that has been circulating on Instagram right now of them with the ultrasound, that was actually their announcement for Bella. So it's actually not a new announcement, but the photo is tough because she's wearing a dress that for sure is pretty loose in the midsection, but Lauren is also a very petite individual. And uh, a friend of hers who I have had a chance to speak to said that Lauren is not the kind of person that gains weight very easily. And so if she is showing anything, it could be very well that she is pregnant because she doesn't gain weight other than when she's pregnant. And she seems to, from that angle, seem to have a little tiny baby bump. But again, who knows? So automatically, there's all these articles going out that she's pregnant, and I really can't say. I would think that if she is pregnant, she will make the announcement relatively soon, but I'm guessing if she is pregnant and wants to wait, she might wait until after the first trimester. I don't know. She could even be out of the first trimester and still wants to wait. If they aren't doing a lot of activity on social media, maybe she doesn't even feel the need to announce it. The Duggars have been doing a lot of really weird things lately, like not announcing literally anything on their social media. And I don't know if that's because like there's issues with the network, with contract negotiations, if they're just not going to be on the show. They've been doing all these tiny little updates on their TLC Me blog, but it seems to be like tiny distractions from bigger stories that are happening behind the scenes. Like they are doing all these updates on the babies, but then you had Justin's wedding that they didn't do anything about. And then you had Jedediah's wedding that they didn't do anything about. And so you get these updates like, oh, Bella's doing great and Gracie Duggar's doing great. And you get an update from Jeremy and Ginger that the baby girl, um, Felicity and Evie Joe or Evie Joe are doing really well. Nothing on these weddings and to date, nothing in terms of whether or not Lauren is expecting. And in the video, they didn't even show Bella, which was kind of interesting. And they were sitting down, so you wouldn't have been able to see Lauren. But there's definitely a clear difference. It also could be the angle, but I will say the angle from Claire's wedding only a month and a half before showed that she had a pretty spelt, tiny little dress on and so I don't know it could it be that it has a tie on it could it be the angle could it be that she's expecting and doesn't want to announce it yet not sure now it would be we wouldn't be surprising if she is I mean Bella's a year old we know the families don't do birth control and we also know that a lot of them have a lot of kids so having another baby right away 
not off the table. You know what would be really more interesting, to be honest, is if any one of these girls or women ended up going to college. That would be super cool. Like if we found out they were opening a business or getting further college education, but typically, all of you guys wait on these pregnancy announcements. So right now I cannot confirm that she's pregnant, only the speculation that's happening on social media and this is not an, at all a video to shame or degrade her because if she's just, if it's just the angle, it's just the angle. So you can tell me what your thoughts are, but until we know for sure, I can say this is an unconfirmed rumor. All right, you guys, I'll be back later with more. Bye.